So there is one thing on Instagram TV that you need to utilize more, and that's what this Three Minute Thursday is all about. Intro. Citations everybody, Benjamin Bryan here, back with another IGB tutorial, and today we're talking about something that I didn't realize I needed to talk about, and that something is the IGTV desktop platform. I'm bringing this up because it's definitely come to my attention from Instagram DMs and from comments from my previous videos that not many of you actually knew about the desktop uploader, the fact that you can actually watch IGTV videos on your desktop in general, and a couple of little hacks along the way. Let's get into it. Start the clock now. Here we go. Okay, so here's the main reason why I encourage you to start using the desktop uploader just a little bit more. The main point is workflow. Now for most creators today, including myself, the workflow in which we create our vertical videos goes from camera, shooting it, editing, computer, and uploading to some certain platform. Now, if you're a YouTuber making content, what's your workflow right now? You start by shooting it with your camera, then you import to a computer to edit, and then lastly, you export it and upload it to some type of platform. For this example, YouTube. It's the exact same thing with IGTV. I'm always trying to save as much time as I can with my workflow because I'm I'm gonna try to crank out as much content as I possibly can. You know, IGTV and YouTube for me are a very part-time thing because, well, I have a whole company to run. Gotta make that money. Any amount of minutes or seconds I can gain back to all that other stuff, the better. And this workflow does that for sure. Instead of exporting and then transferring that video to a phone, which oddly enough, a lot of people do. I did not know that. Using the IGTV uploader, you can just stay on your computer, drag that file right into IGTV itself, and then you're good to go. Easy peasy, beautiful. I'll probably get a copy right strike if I continue that. There are also some other cool things to the IGTV desktop platform. You can also edit your video description, you can delete the video itself, but embedded code is what I'm referring to. What does that mean? You can check out here on my company's website. I had a vertical film that I did for BMW on the website and the way I got that onto the website is by using embedded code. You even have the option to leave a caption or not, but that's super big if you want to share your IGTV videos via email, popping on a website or a blog, or in some cases clients have actually needed the code to embed onto their apps. There you go. And in regards to sharing, you can share it to all the popular platforms, same as mobile, whether it's Facebook, sending it from Facebook Messenger is another option, sharing to Twitter. You can also email the video if you want. By the way, the difference between embedded code and hitting this email option is the email just gives you like a link. And then of course, you can just copy the URL itself. Moving to the uploader in particular, this is identical to what's on IGTV right now. You have your upload option to the left. This is where you'll pop in your title and your description. The one bad thing about the IGTV uploader is the description box. It doesn't expand at all. So what that means is if you have a long description you have to scroll which is super annoying for me and that's why I shared in the eight tips you need to learn about Instagram TV series that you should write your descriptions on some type of external word app such as notes Evernote Microsoft Word pages whatever you use that way you can format it appropriately pop in your hashtags and then copy and paste right into the description box itself and you don't have to worry about scrolling for years that's just super annoying and of course on the bottom you have the IGTV preview feature and if you haven't seen my video on showing you how to do that that preview feature allows the first 60 seconds of your video to be displayed on your Instagram Instagram feed for others to see and for you to see. Game changer of a feature, the best thing that's happened to IGTV so far. And lastly, you have the option to add it to Facebook. My workflow is seamless now because I don't have to really use my phone because I do everything on my computer. I import in Final Cut Pro, I edit in Final Cut Pro, I export out of Final Cut Pro. Sometimes I'll go into Apple Motion, make some effects, render them out, drag my video into the IGTV uploader, and then that's it. I had two goals in this video. One was to show you that you can save some time using the IGTV desktop uploader. And the other was for those who didn't know about it. Now you know everything it does. That's the three minutes right there. Did pretty good, huh? All right, let's go and read some top comments from my last video. Sorry I didn't upload last week, by the way. Client work got the best of me. And well, when I make these videos, I'm essentially not working on stuff that gives me money. But I love YouTube and I love helping you, so it's really all worth it. And ironically, this video was showing you the new IGTV update that happened two weeks ago and how to upload in it now, because it's not that intuitive. So if you do everything on mobile, you're gonna wanna watch that video. IG has officially announced that their focus and money is on IGTV this year. It's the moment to start owning the platform. Yes, I agree. I've been saying that for a year now. Maybe I said it too early. I don't know. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. I'm preparing to start my own IGTV channel and I'm finding great value in your tips and guidance. Looking forward to jumping into the scene really soon and this update really helped. Awesome, man. Happy to help. That's exactly why I do what I do. There never was a need for IGTV. Time to roll the unique features of IGTV into IG and I'll bet that happens this year. What John's referring to is a question I asked in this video asking you guys if the IGTV app was gonna go away because it's missed like four updates already and Instagram is getting all the IGTV updates. So yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm agreeing with you. I found it hard to work out how to upload a new video. Thanks for the info. You are totally welcome. Yeah, you're not the only one. Do you think adding caption bars on the top and bottom of your video is a good way to increase engagement? Notice you're using it on some of your vids. What's the main 
goal? That's a great question. On IGTV, I do not recommend it. I know Gary Vee does it, but that's because he repurposes his widescreen video. That's cool if you're gonna do that. I actually use this strategy on my Instagram feed where I repurpose my YouTube videos to let you guys know or give you some tips on Instagram from videos like this. But no, I don't recommend it for IGTV because the purpose of IGTV is to create native vertical content, which does way better than repurposed widescreen videos, just FYI. Well, if this video provides you some value, just smash the like button, just get after it. Subscribe, notify yourselves of when I, you know, make videos and you do what you feel necessary. I'm just here to support you. Also, if you stay to the very end of this video, there is a giveaway coming that is huge with a certain, that's not the company. I partnered with one of the juggernauts of the video industry. I would go to my Instagram right now, watch my latest IGTV video, and you will see who it's with and what we're giving away. More details to come soon. Keep creating some vert. I'll see y'all later. I'm out.